For the Rebel Media, I'm Ezra Levant. I am standing outside the Old Bailey Central Criminal Court for Tommy Robinson's retrial on contempt of court for a matter that was thrown out by the Court of Appeal last year. The Attorney General wants a second kick of the cat. It's incredible to me. I think any other country would be called political abuse. But what's interesting to me is we have about 500 grassroots Tommy Robinson supporters here homemade signs, real legit folks who've come in from afar. And behind me, you can see the antithesis. Not grassroots, not spontaneous, not organic, but paid professional ragamuffins who go from protest to protest. And you know this because they don't even know why they're here. They've been given pre-printed placards that are very generic. I don't think any of them know why they're here other than to cause a ruckus. And the problem is, I mean, here in, in, in central London, we're outside the most serious and senior criminal court in the whole country, actually. This is where they have the most serious murder cases, terrorism cases. In fact, there's a terrorism inquiry going on right now. They would never allow a riot in this square. Uh, in fact, you can see there's police vans. They're, they really have the riot squad on standby. It's not going to get out of hand. But what's troubling is in other towns, other cities, other places, the police let the Antifa rioters run rampant. They turn a blind eye. In fact, there's been this phenomenon in recent weeks. Uh, Tommy Robinson, as you know, is running to be a member of the European Parliament. So are other conservatives, including YouTube personalities like Carl Benjamin, otherwise known as Sargon Akkad, uh, uh, Mark Meekin, otherwise known as uh, Count Dankula. They're internet personalities on the... Uh, on the libertarian right, let's say, and there's this, this thing, this phenomenon of throw a milkshake at them. They did it to Tommy, they've done it to Carl Benjamin at least three times, and it's often done with complete impunity. Police standing by and doing nothing. Whereas you even hurl an epithet against a labor MP, like just use a bad word and you'll be charged with harassment. That's the sort of double standard in policing that I think you would expect given the corruption of other establishment sources of power, the police, the prosecutors, the press, the politicians, the professors. I find it very dispiriting to see police effectively deplatforming conservatives. What I mean by that is not only is Tommy Robinson and, and Carl Benjamin and people like that being kicked off of Facebook and kicked off of Twitter or whatever, denied banking privileges with PayPal, for example, but the police are treating them as non-persons too. And I find that very troubling. You don't see evidence of that here right outside the central criminal courts. But one of the terrifying things in Britain in 2019 is how the police do nothing to stop left-wing violence and how, in fact, the police are increasingly a political police force themselves. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant. I'm here in London all day at the Central Criminal Courts at Old Bailey. I'm here with a team of journalists to give you the straight goods on Tommy Robinson's trial. For more, go to realreporters.uk. You can watch all our videos there and help chip in to cover our travel costs.